Top of the morning, top of the morning world. Y'all back at it again with the Head of the Game podcast. We got another controversial discussion we got to talk about today. So y'all read the title. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right. Um, Based off of everything that I've came across maybe over the last six months, I see a certain trend that maybe a lot of people ain't uh, being aware of, but once I connect the dots, you'll see the big picture aware of what this whole video is about and where I'm going with this. All right, so pretty much, if you haven't heard, 40% of countries this year is having an election year, right? So um, if you haven't noticed, it's like, a, now I'm not sure if they've done this in the past, Oh, this is just my, uh, this is me being aware of it now. Um, there's a lot of conferences, a lot of world leader conferences where you got a lot of countries and a lot of world leaders meeting up, you know, and they're just kind of discussing their views, their policies, things of that nature. And, you know, it had me really thinking because at first I really didn't think about it. I'm not, like I said, it was my first time seeing that they even had these in the first place. But then it really had me sitting up there thinking that um, one or two things. Now, like I said, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, you know, but I am a person that, you know, likes to read between the lines and see hints, but I'm not a person that just jumps to conclusions and, you know, without at least adding up at least some hard facts and even if the hard facts line up, this is just an idea, you know? I don't know for sure. But when I explain this, you'll be left up uh, at your own disposal to, you know, see whatever you take away from this video. But pretty much, these world leaders and stuff, you know, they're hearing each other out. And I feel like it's a good thing on the surface because then you have a lot of different ideologies, a lot of views, a lot of different government structures like communism and capitalism and socialism you know all coming together all coming together um for a common cause right so this is pretty much where the flip side of this where it could be a bad thing right uh because maybe it's just the dog and pony show where they're just explaining like the world is being connected and is coming towards a better place but then there could be a hidden agenda far as as people would say the elites you know the top of the top of the people uh that run the world and stuff like that are all coming together for this uh you know just uh, i wouldn't go so as far as to say that just a whole new level of oppression between the classes you know there will be no more government classes will be probably just financial classes um right but you gotta just keep your eyes open because there's always an agenda or something being pushed or if i'll tell you this regarding this country specifically um you don't know a lot about politics you don't know a lot about policies and economics and stuff like that. If you really want to understand the government's agenda, you know, forget Republican and Democrat and liberal and conservative, forget all these, these terms. I'm gonna take y'all back a couple years ago during the pandemic. I'm gonna let y'all know the pandemic exposed a lot of underlying uh, principles about our government structure, right? Check this out. Stay with me. Soon as the world shut down or this country specifically shut down and the stock market dropped like a rock, it just plummeted. It had a precipitous fall, something unlike I think I've ever seen or ever in history, right? What was the one of the first things that the government ended up doing? Um, in a matter of weeks, it didn't even take long. They set up there and pumped billions of dollars back in Wall Street, back in the stock market. And that precipitous fall ended up becoming all time, all time records. Like as if nothing wasn't going on, right? Now let me juxtapose that to this next point. 
when it came down to the regular everyday person, you know, that was making what? What was the benchmark? $75,000 or less, right? Man, that was sitting up there going back and forth for months. For months. Almost a year. You feel me? Almost a whole year. Going back and forth. People, life and death circumstances. And they're going back and forth of passing a bill, right? Passing a bill between $600 and $1,200. Now, the ramifications of that was obviously, you feel me? Um, you know, and be, uh, you know, all the PPP loans and stuff like that, you gotta include that. But they went for months before they approved this bill. Now, the Republicans. This is where it get a little murky because it depends on what side of the spectrum you're leading on. You know, because the conservatives like, yeah, it's $600, right? $600 per person. The Democrats are like, nah, they ain't right, $1,200. They probably was trying to make it more than that. Now, let me break this down to y'all. If $1,800 gave to every person, I'm, uh, let's, uh, okay, let's do some quick mental math. An extra $600 on top of them stimulus checks. And it's about, mm, how many adults in, in the country? Let's say about a rough estimate if it's 330 million people in the country. And let's make a rough estimate and say half of those are adults. You feel me? Um, so we're talking about 180, um, 180 times 600. Uh, yeah, so we're talking about Yeah, so, so maybe like 20, 21, 21 billion extra dollars. Nah, that probably wouldn't even been too bad in comparison to how big the bill was, right? So regardless of what it contributed towards inflation, that that's, that's pretty much the, the moral of the story. It contributed towards inflation. And that's why everything's so expensive out the nowhere you know you gave all this free money and rightfully so because but scratch all that the main point was the point the bigger point i'm making is is that you have to follow the money forget what they talking about it's probably just a dog and pony show they all on the same side democrats republicans they all millionaires right they all millionaires but they got different ideologies but they just on the same team right so it's just like offense and defense. They're on the same team, but they just, they, they, they just, they, each side of the ball wants more credit than the other. That's pretty much what they fight though. Um, so going back to the original point of half of the world's elections, 40% of countries are having elections where presidents, leaders, you know, dictators and stuff like that is being, you know, uh, up up for grabs. You know, no telling what a lot of backdoor handshakes a lot of these, you know, politicians or government leaders from other countries like, hey, you know, if you get elected and I get elected and he gets elected and she gets elected and we approve all these policies that don't really make a lot of sense just on the surface but if we work together as a unit then it can get our pockets because i could approve this policy to send that money over there you can send that money back over here you can build this it, it's it's corrupt that's basically what i'm saying you know the world is corrupt but i'm not saying nothing new it's just this is what i would like to call this has the potential to be the big transition. Meaning like, yes, there's certain core values that certain countries aren't gonna be willing to change. But maybe they might bend a couple of rules, just uh, like I said, get a couple of backdoor handshakes and then throw the rock and then hide their hand whenever uh, a crisis or a traumatic you know, situation comes about. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like somebody pushing you into the street, right? And then grabbing you and then pulling you back to the sidewalk and then 
proclaiming they saved your life. You know? Now, if you was to know that the same hand that put you in danger, put you out of it, then you wouldn't, you would have to take a lot of credit away from the hero and give some of that credit to the villain. And that person only becomes half the hero and half the villain that they were perceived to be, right? So, with all that being said, man, uh, like I said, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, man, but I just like to, it's what this whole channel is about, man. Ahead of the game podcast. Gotta stay ahead of the game. Keep your head in the game. Stay ahead of the game. Right? So, that being said, um, got any comments, thoughts, concerns, things of that nature, comment down below. Uh, that being said, thanks for watching the video. More videos on the way. I'm up out of here.